What's going on guys? I'm Adolin and welcome back to Life is Strange. Last time we left off, we pretty much snuck around Chloe's house some more to get a little bit more clues and we found out that David did have some good information about like, uh, not Chloe, Kate, Nathan, and maybe coordinates on Rachel and stuff like that, including some pictures and some pictures of me too, which is kind of weird. And now we're here seeing Kate. Um... We're still kind of, I'm still kind of up in the air of David's intentions. Again, I've been theorizing that David is trying to do the right thing, but he's I'm going... I'm sorry, but I do hate hospitals. It's so cold. Yeah, hospitals got a weird smell for me. You know, and David, it's, it's just, his intentions are kind of really off, in my opinion, of what he's trying to do. But anyways, now we're here to see Kate, and she's doing good. At least I'm like she's doing good. And we're going to kind of look around. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I want to express my dearest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor and I've never seen such an outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words mean little given our circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care and if you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Well, I really wish that you... Nah, I'm not going to get back into it. Anyways. That is so sweet. In our Even hearts. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Of course not Nathan. Nathan's a complete dick. Ooh, that's pretty. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Yeah, she's just... I don't know, spoiled maybe? Kate, I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see you smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Ooh. Oh, I guess this can use us some conversation stuff. Maybe with next time we see Victoria. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Ooh, I heard something upstairs and it kind of scared me. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. She's doing homework during while this is going on? Oh my god. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. As you see a little bit closer, it, these are all really cute pictures. What is with the hot dog person? No, it's like the third person, third, 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 little, third time I've seen it. Icon. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. True shit. Whatever makes y'all happy in the world, do what you need to do. As long as it's Those like. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor. Wow, props to her. Yeah, do what you need to do to be happy. As long as it's not. Other I don't people. think get well Happiness, is you know? quite apropos. Yeah, I don't think so either. So can I sit and then like talk to her? How's this gonna work out? It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But Whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mind fuck. True shit. I think that's all she had to say. By the way. I have a feeling like if you look at the the picture of the hot dog squeezing the mustard on itself, it's kind of a dirty picture in my opinion. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Hmm. So we can add Victoria to this. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, not nice a bitch but i do believe in forgiveness and redemption i might be naive but i feel her struggle me too i could have taken a picture of her covered in paint but i didn't and we had a genuine moment we all have our moments why do you think she acts so mean she's insecure if you're comfortable with yourself you don't need to act superior. 
Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Hmm. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. So I've heard. <laughs> he asked me to go to the drive-in, but I turned him down. Oh, really? You guys would be a perfect couple. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. That's absolutely well, the truth. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so... Suspended or expelled? That might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. What? We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. I really Tell hope that... Alice I'll see her soon. Hope that rabbit is not dead. So, whoa, okay. So we need to find, get a number to the frickin', what's his face? And we're gonna sneak in there, which probably means, that's what explains the gun earlier on. But, um, man, so she even feels, Kate feels something evil about that family. Which I think the evil in the family is pretty much the son. And the parents' willingness to, to pay to drown everything, drown all of his problems away. Because they want a perfect son, they don't want a psychopathic person of a son. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Well, Thanks she for coming to see with her. me. You kind of stayed outside. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. Oh, snap. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Man, that was actually kind of a short thing. I'm going to keep going. Uh oh, it's the principal. And the teacher. They've been talking quite a bit lately, haven't they? Is that a drone? Rachel the something pay up. Are we supposed to be doing something? Oh, we're just kind of hanging out, I guess. Is it like Saturday or something? Hey, Max. How you doing? <clears throat> oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. Life is On strange. that note, <laughs> Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. Was there a chance for me to enter a photo? No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just... Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. 
<laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Are you hitting Hot on him? Hot teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. So what am I supposed to do then? Nobody... Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey, well, there you go. Now I just gotta find out where Nathan is. And also, I kind of wonder, was I supposed to put in an actual photo? Like, spend time out of my day and use one of the photos? I thought I would have more time to actually like, hey, yeah, you can choose out of these photos you took to submit. What's up, guy? I'm pretty sure you don't know where Justin hey, Nathan is. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Don't give up that easy. Just stay away from your sketchbook for a while. You need to keep taking the shot, as Mr. Jefferson says. Stay away from my sketchbook? You don't know me, Max. That's like you staying away from your camera. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go back and say something different then. Hey, Daniel. Hola, Max. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense, but not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Oh, so I get another option. Okay, so that kind of gave me a little right. I don't know what the point of me doing this is. I don't know hey, what, what point You're... he's going to give, or like what help he's going to give me. Daniel, your drawings are your photographs. So draw your photos with your eyes and make the camera your lens pen. Lens pen? Oh, I dig that, Max. That could work for me. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. It's because I can reverse back time. There we go. So this opens up options for me to talk to him. That's why I needed to do it. Have you to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better. True shit. And gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Or expelled. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Ooh. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Screw the Vortex Club. They don't deserve you, Daniel. They don't deserve anything. I mean, what do they actually do for Blackwell, huh? You're right, Max. Screw them. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. So, dude, that first person was a person to talk to? Nice. I mean, who else is there to talk to around here? Can I actually talk to some people? I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Oh, this is Miss Grant, the Climate teacher. change isn't real my ass. <laughs> I think everything is changing here. Oh, As there's a the drone girl. Isn't this that Warren asked me to the drive-in? Oh, hello. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Last time we had a conversation with her, she did not like us too much. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. 
Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, he asked you? Oh, you I know, like the way science she's... geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. I don't like the way that she responded. It's like, oh, he asked you? It's like, kind of like we're interested, but I'm trying to play that we're not, because we're not. Um, I'm going to try to talk about the drone again. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. Really? I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. Ooh. That sounds fun. It would be good for you and Warren to take a road trip after this week. Warren got a new car. Or an old new car. So I'm all about a serious road trip out of here after this week. Cool, we actually get to fly a drone, which I haven't done in real life yet. Oh, neat. I feel like I would crash this on the ground, like, immediately. I wonder if there's, like, a little camera on this thing, like, a one that's actually taking, like, footage. I mean, don't they all do that? I mean, I don't know anything about drones, to be honest with you. I don't know nothing. But it kind of sounds like maybe if they do, if I went, if I went with Warren this weekend to the drive-in, we would have been like dating. But maybe if Warren and Brooke goes, if Warren and Brooke Thanks. goes, then it'll be them dating. And that'd be better, you know? Because we're kind of, we're not totally not interested. But we know where, we know where Nathan is. He's not here. So we're going to go ahead and go talk to... Uh, what's your face? Chloe. Burp. I mean, I guess I could talk to Miss Grant. I feel kind of bad that I didn't talk it's to her in the beginning. It's been so long with. since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. So where does Nathan even reside at in this, like, campus? Because I'm pretty sure there's a whole other boys' dormitory, isn't there? Ooh, that's cool look. Oh, that's just a glass pane. so lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Well, isn't Kate supposed to help us with that? Like, how, how are we supposed to get Kate's help with that? Anyways, anyways, guys, we're going to end... Ah, there it is. Uh, we're going to end this episode here. We ended up talking to some people. We kind of... under We know that Warren is going to go to the drive-in now with Brooke, which is great because in the game, we're not trying to play off that we're going to have a crush on Warren at all. We're just friends with him, and he has the crush on us, and we're kind of just friend-zoning him. That's just plain out. That's what's happening. We're friend-zoning him. And now we're trying to make our way into Nathan's room and find more details. We still have the details of David and what he has so far, like coordinates and pictures and stuff like that. Now we're going to get David's information. And also we found out that Chloe has the hops for Mr. Jefferson. Yeah, who wouldn't have guessed? He's a good looking dude. Anyways, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode and I'll see you all next time.